Hi, my name is Pejman with Boundary Devices, and today I want to talk about three reasons why using a Raspberry Pi in your commercial product is a bad idea. But before I get into that, I want to tell you that I love Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi changed the embedded world. It changed the way people use embedded technologies into IoT types of devices and enabled thousands and thousands of new projects and products to come out. And for that, I am eternally grateful. I also think the Raspberry Pi Foundation has done a brilliant job in removing a lot of the barriers to commercialization, including adding more distribution channels, adding extended temperature range versions of the product, and also providing a longevity program for certain variations. But despite all three of these improvements, I still don't think it's a great idea uh, to use it in your product. The first reason is because of supply chain. So the Raspberry Pi is a sole source product. It's made by one company in pretty much one contract manufacturer. What happens if that contract manufacturer burns down? What happens if they decide not to make the Raspberry Pi anymore? Or what happens if due to geopolitical issues, you cannot source it from that company? I don't think people quite think about the challenges that would exist if you can't get the main brains of your product. How would you go requalify another product? It would take months, if not years, to, to replace the Raspberry Pi. For such an important decision, shouldn't you pick a product that you know you can get at a moment's notice from a specific manufacturer? That's one thing I think everybody should really think about. The other thing from a supply chain perspective is what happens if you ramp up quickly? How do you get more boards if they don't exist? They have, you know, you have to place your order with a distributor. They have to go back to the mothership and request more Raspberry Pis. We don't know how long that process takes. And that's one of the primary reasons companies come to us and say, we need to design out our Raspberry Pi because of availability. We can't get them in the quantities that we need in the time that we need them. The second reason that I don't think you should use a Raspberry Pi in your commercial product is because of support. So there isn't a Mr. Raspberry Pi that you can call when something goes wrong. If there's a hardware issue in the field, who helps you troubleshoot it? Who helps you diagnose that? It's on you. When you're initially bringing up your project, who does all the software development, and the operating system optimizations and productizations that you need to do from a software perspective? You have to go to a third party to do that, which costs a, a lot of money. Now, there are a lot of partners in the Raspberry Pi community, tons and tons of partners that you can go to that will happily take your money to, uh, to help solve your problem. But the point is, you have to go outsource that part of the project. And the third reason I don't think you should use a Raspberry Pi is because I don't think it's a lower system level cost. Sure, the Raspberry Pi by itself, $35, $40 board, nobody can touch it. That's a great price for what you get and for the amount of support that's there. But you have to then add on another carrier board or adapter board to give you all the other peripherals you'll need for your specific project. I've seen these boards end up being double the size of a Raspberry Pi. And from a cost perspective, those boards tend to be very expensive because the company that's producing them is not in that business. So what we see is a $40 Raspberry Pi and a hundred, maybe even a hundred dollar plus carrier board that you have to put together, which also complicates the mechanicals because now you have to, someone's got to assemble these two boards and test them together and design an enclosure to fit around them. So from a system level cost perspective, what we've seen is that it's lower cost to get a purpose built solution that fits exactly what you need than buying an off the shelf Raspberry Pi and basically kludging together another board on top of it. On top of all that, the, the purpose-built board comes with free support. So if, if you do have a field failure or you do, do need help getting your operating system optimized for production, there's somebody there that's aligned with you who's ready and willing to help. So these are the three reasons I think you shouldn't use a Raspberry Pi in your commercial product. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Thanks.